Tylus, you should be in sickbay. I'll finish this. I couldn't just lie there knowing the entire fate of Hotari hangs in the balance. How did it go? You look exhausted. It went about as well as could be expected, under the circumstances. Well, that's a relief, because I was fearing the worst. I heard a rumor that they'd made a deal, that the Elidians agreed to peace. After what we saw Sidron do to the diplomat in the mines, I could hardly believe there was hope, but then... Is that true? I'm afraid the truth is far worse than that. There's no deal. No. They're all Takan now. The Hatari, the Elidians. Everyone. No. That can't be true. I'm sorry. Where will I go? I can't go back. I don't have a home anymore. Everything I've ever known is gone. Hotari isn't lost yet. This is far from over. It will be your home again, I promise. Thank you. The Federation stands with the Hotari. You don't have to doubt it for a second. Yellow, alert. Commander Rydick, we need you on the bridge immediately. Commander. Good to have you back. You didn't opt for the ocular implants. Maybe someday. The visor was the best the doc could do on short notice. We've got an Olydian ship, the Veskar, rapidly bearing down on our position. Or what was the Veskar. Now I'm not so sure. Bring it up on the view screen. 600 kilometers in closing. Still coming straight for us. Hmm. Commander? Have you tried hailing them? Try it. Hailing the Elydian ship now. No response. 400 kilometers in closing. Shields up. Ready, phasers. Shields up. Phasers ready. It's incoming. Lock phasers and open fire. Heavy damage. But Deflector's still at full power? That bypassed our shields entirely. That's impossible. God damn it, return fire. Everything we've got. Right, Egg. Modulate the shield frequencies. See if you can get us any cover. Commander, I've I... Got this. Just keep firing. Shields still have no effect. That doesn't make sense. I'll try another. There! We've got incoming! How do they keep matching our shield frequency? They couldn't. Unless... They've compromised our shield algorithms. They can bypass our shields at will. What? Ah. Ah. Captain! He's out cold! Why'd they stop? Damage report. Running on emergency power. Major hull damage on decks four through seven. Warp core is stable and intact. We're completely vulnerable. Commander, we're being held by the Veskar. It's Galvin. On screen. Commander Rydak. Where's your captain? Not dead, I hope. At least, not yet. You're dealing with me. Is that a problem? One inferior life form is as good as another. I have to give you credit, Commander. You survived longer than I thought you would. But make no mistake, your shields are useless, your weapons ineffective, and there's nothing you can do. I could destroy you at any moment. But I'd rather hear your pleas for mercy first. Your existence is entirely...
entirely in my hands. And I'm not in a forgiving mood. If you want to destroy us, then I invite you to do your worst. We'd rather die with honor than beg for your mercy. You may just get your wish. I've been thinking about what you said, Commander. That the Federation would stop me no matter what. Your performance in this encounter has not supported that claim. The Veskar's weapons are powering up. This isn't over. <laughs> I assure you, we've only just begun. I've lost their signal. Can you track their warp signature? Nothing. It's untraceable, just like before. Notify Ambassador Spock. I want everyone in the briefing room to discuss our options. What's the status of the repairs? Hull breach should be patched up in a matter of hours. Impulse power is at 67%. Should be fully restored soon. Still no luck tracking Galvin's warp signature. They've all but disappeared. Keep trying. Finding that son of a bitch is the best shot we've got. Commander Ryder, you had the con after the ship was attacked. What is your assessment? Given our current situation, and the losses we have suffered. I think we don't know enough. We need more information. In that case, we might have an option. Portal 6-3, guardian of the Takan Empire. If anyone could find Galvin, it would be him. That's assuming he's willing to help us. True, but there's only one way to find out. Wouldn't we need to secure authorization from the Federation Council to contact him? The nearest Federation outpost is Andoria. I can travel there by shuttle and inform them personally of the threat from the Takan. Meanwhile, the Resolute can travel to the Delphi Ardu system in search of Portal 63. I still have my doubts. I do not. Captain William T. Riker has first hand experience with the area and with Portal 63. His guidance will prove invaluable and should alleviate your concerns. Delphi Ardu 4 is a restricted zone for good reason. For all we know, we could be walking into a trap. Not to mention the high likelihood Portal 6-3's allegiance will be with the Takan. It's just too much of a risk. A waste of time. Time we can't afford to lose. According to Commander Riker's records of meeting Portal 6-3, he was willing to listen to reason. We may be able to convince him that Galvin is wrong. Or he'll just be happy to learn his civilization is making a comeback. In which case, we only compound the problem. I am inclined to agree with Commander Rydek. Her logic is sound. This portal may have knowledge that proves to be invaluable, including information on the nature of the Cartabula. We must act on the facts at hand. Then we'll give it our best. I'll arrange a meeting with Captain Riker. And I will speak with the Council. They need to understand the magnitude of the situation. I can leave for Andoria immediately. I wish you luck finding Portal 63. The very future of the Federation may rest in your hands. It takes a minimum of eight crew on the bridge to run the ship. So we can expect at least that many hostiles. If they bioformed Hadri, they know we're coming. Which means everyone needs to be ready for... Take cover!
Now what? We need that door sealed. You can handle that. Where do you need us? There's an access panel there. You should be able to patch into the local system. We'll be shot getting there. I'll cover you. On my signal. Now! gravity inside the bridge. That'll throw anyone on the bridge right up into the seal. He'll never see it coming. It's Asuka. Get ready to charge. Charge? For some gravity polarity. Now! Amazing. Close it. How do we get them down? What are we gonna do with them? We don't have time to take prisoners. So you're just gonna shoot them? I haven't decided yet. That's not just up to you. I'm the ranking officer. And we're not in your army. These prisoners can be useful to us. But if you kill them, we'll never know. I can live with that. Well, I can't. You're an engineer, not a soldier. Clearly my territory. You think you have enemy combatants here? This is a hostage situation. Each one of them has an innocent life inside. I'll keep watch on them. As will I. We can't let our guard down around the enemy. Petty Officer Diaz and I will figure out how to stop the ship. Let's hurry. The rest of the Takan could show up any minute. Crystals. They're all over this place. Look here. It's navigational data. We saw that already. Headed to the edge of the galaxy. It's only a display. We couldn't use it to change course or alter speed. We're gonna be there in less than an hour. We can't let that happen. Hold on. It would take days to go this distance with our fastest ship. We're traveling at a warp factor many times greater than this ship should even be capable of. What are the engines doing to produce this kind of speed? The engine's a red line, running at full power. But this main drive manifold is spiking way over nominal levels. Very dangerous. Even at 100% output, the warp cores wouldn't push this much plasma to the drive section. The reactor output matches the high speed, doesn't it? Whether it's these crystals, or the power from the cartabula, the Takan have found a way to increase the engine output and top speed. We have to find a way to hit the brakes before we outrun anyone who could help us. We stop it, so they can't get this ship where they're going, and enact the next phase of their plan. That is, if they don't destroy us all first. I would have thought this ship would disintegrate going this speed. So what is their endgame? They've transformed individuals, they've transformed this ship, in a way. How far will they go? As far as we let them. The technology certainly doesn't seem to have limits. I hate to think what the Cartabula could do if it was plugged into something it was meant to power. are to con technology. They seem to be active, just like the rest of their tech. Tetrametric pulses. Tetrametric? It's the energy signature of to con technology. Everything they make gives off this type of radiation. They're blocking the inputs. It's not responding at all. Everything I try, it just ignores me. 
Maybe we should try that other console. Good idea. There are two interfaces on top of each other. This... this is not a Lydian programming. language. From what I can tell, the ship's systems are actively responding to input. Which is the opposite of how most bridges work. They usually send commands, not receive them. It's from an intrusive program. This control station won't do us any good either. What have they done to this bridge? Consoles running themselves, some clogged up with crystals that are sending off tetrametric pulses. But none of this is sending signals outward. It's receiving. They're flying the ship from somewhere else. That should be impossible. But it explains why there's less than a full bridge crew. If they aren't flying the ship from the bridge, where are they controlling it from? Careful where you point that thing. It's not active. I can't see any way this would work as a weapon. It's dead. Out of ammo? I'm not sure. That's everything. We got some answers. I don't like what they tell us, though. If we can learn nothing else, then what's left is to make these Takan talk. And if they don't, we'll dispose of them. Hey, that's not how we do this. That is enough from you! I thought that thing was useless. It was! No power! Until he touched it. The weapons must be biocoded. Our technology will only work for one of our kind. I can assure you. This weapon works just fine for me. Slow down, Armita. <laughs> you can't control this ship with a disruptor. But I can use it to control you. Ah! The Titan's communications officer says Captain Riker will be ready in just a moment. You need to see this. The report on the data breach. Damn. It's worse than I'd hoped. They didn't just compromise our shields. They stole the shield algorithms for all of Starfleet as well. Meaning every ship is potentially vulnerable to attack. Making this so much worse than it already was. Given the potential consequences, we should notify Starfleet as soon as possible. I don't disagree, but uh, I'll reach out to Ambassador Spock about it. I don't want to cause a panic, and I doubt he does either. I have Captain Riker for you. Let's not mention any of this S.H.I.E.L.D. business to Riker just yet. Put him through. Captain Riker. This is my first officer, Commander Jara Rydek. My pleasure. Sir. I wish we were all meeting under better circumstances. So do I, although you and I have actually met before. We have. I was a young lieutenant on the Potemkin. You were first officer on the Tuckerman. I piloted you and our science officer in a shuttle to survey quantum residence in the planetary rings of Residia 6. Ah, oh, yes. Now I remember. You know, he gave me some good advice that day about a very difficult job. Yours. Well, I'm not one to turn down some words of wisdom, sir. Then let me ask, as first officer on a starship, where does your responsibility lie, first and foremost? To the captain, the crew, or the ship itself? Oh, this old chestnut. 
I am curious to hear what she says, though. Ultimately, my responsibility is to the crew at large. The needs of the many. You have been hanging around Ambassador Spock. But the truth is, it's a trick question. Every situation is different, and there are no easy answers. And in some cases, it might not be any of those three. It could be the Prime Directive. Or the mission. Yes, so perhaps we should get to the matter at hand. When you were with the Enterprise, you encountered a Takan entity known as Portal 6-3. The Enterprise was held captive in orbit until you were able to convince him to let the ship go. All of which is detailed in the mission report. What we want from you is what we can't get from the report. What can we use to get Portal 6-3 to help us? I've often thought about that over the years. How a small difference in the encounter could have led to disaster. The most important thing is, don't let him push you around. He can appear as a man or as a godlike projection. He'll test you, but don't be overwhelmed by the pageantry and theatrics. I'll stand up to him. You can trust in that. Good, but that's just the first step. Portal is full of bluster and bravado, but he can be reasoned with. And that's my other piece of advice. You want to appeal to him rationally. You don't want him thinking you're acting out of fear. But we are afraid of the Takan, and with good reason. He's not the sort to suffer fools. And he'll lose interest if he feels his time is being wasted. I suppose that's one thing we have in common. Do you think he knows that the Takan have returned? He didn't even know they were gone when we went there. But the moment the Enterprise dropped into orbit around Delphi Ardu 4, he downloaded the entirety of the ship's computer. So I'd expect the same when you get there. What if you won't cooperate and we have to face these to con ourselves? Then we have a much bigger problem on our hands. What I mean is, in the 16 years since you discovered this outpost, there has to have been research. Battle plans for what to do about the Takan if we encountered more of them. I need to know what they are. If I had that answer, it would have been the first thing I told you. We both know Command has had their share of hidden plans in the past. Like Admiral Hansen and Captain Shelby's Special Projects Division at Starfleet Tactical, devising new ways to take on the board. Trust me, this isn't some Starfleet conspiracy to keep you in the dark. But if you two don't think you're equipped to make contact, you need to tell me now. Because there is no silver bullet here. Now's not the time to hesitate. I need to know you're up to this. Were you equipped to meet Portal 6-3 all those years ago? I'm here, aren't I? Yes, you are. And we have the benefit of your experience on our side. Fair enough. There was a special task force that considered the Takan, and I was part of it. But because there were no other signs of the Empire, we determined the best course of action was to create a restricted zone around the Delphi Ardu system. I have my concerns, but I'll clear the way with the brass for your travel into the restricted space. Just remember what I've told you. And it wouldn't hurt to read some Sun Tzu en route. Or Marcus Aurelius. Anything else? Thank you for your support, Captain Riker. I wish I could be there myself. But my first officer would probably see to it that I stay on the bridge while they get all the excitement on the away mission. The burdens of command. Rest assured, the Federation is taking this threat very seriously. You won't be alone out there for too long. Thank you, Captain Riker. One more thing. Ambassador Spock said that the Takan stole some data from your central computer. What's that all about? We're still assessing the extent of the breach. Nothing to report as of right now. That's it? Ambassador Spock suggested it was something more serious. Which is why I'm asking. One thing we know is that they stole Starfleet shield algorithms. The shield algorithms? That could jeopardize every ship in the fleet. We're still making sure our assessment is accurate. We don't want to raise alarms unnecessarily. This is as real as it gets, Solano. I have to talk to Starfleet Command now, so I think this conversation has come to an end. I really do hope you get Portal 6-3 and find those to con before this gets out of control. Riker out. I specifically said I wanted to keep this under wraps. I thought we had an understanding. Now all of Starfleet will hear about this. 
Riker's ship is at risk. They all are. I can't believe you would want to keep that from him. That's one more thing I'll have to answer for. Now I have to think about the damage control of it all. You're dismissed. It's the Automated Federation warning buoy. Transmitting the disable code Captain Riker provided. That was unpleasant. Commander Ermont, what are the conditions of our systems? All internal systems operational. Commander Westbrook, what are your scans of the planet? Nothing out of the ordinary. No sign of this outrageously powerful Takan being? I'm running a magneton scan now, but so far, nothing. Where are you? Prep your way, team. We don't know if Portal 6-3 will cooperate. He's not an asset. He's an enemy. So be ready for anything. Prove you're worth keeping alive for a little while longer. I cannot stop this ship any more than you could stop the tides. Not good enough. The impotent threats of a lower life form do not sway me. I will not bend to you. I was born 600,000 years ago. But a new age dawns today. Are you the scion of the flame? My name is Zan Utlosa. I was born in the final days of the Age of Makhto. We are all Scions of the Flame. Every one of us who have traveled across the Bridge of Time to be here for the Great Awakening. We have all sworn ourselves to the cause. Eventually, one of you will break. You don't understand how overmatched you truly are. This craft was nothing before we imbued it with the speed required by our mission. The Cartabula produces enough energy to drive an entire fleet of ships like this one. But when we wake the Athelion, we won't need a fleet. The Athelion? Only then will you understand the might of the Takan Empire. Only born in this time. And when you wake the Athelion, what are you going to do with it? Anything we want. Come on! This goes from bad to worse unless you do what they say. <laughs> it's coming alive. He can't stop the ship. Then he will. Or we cut off his hands and use them ourselves. The moment I reduce speed or change our heading, the others will know. First, they'll just resume course from elsewhere. Trivial matter. And then, they will come here. For you, this is a dead end. That's a risk I'm willing to take. Not if they're just going to start it again. So you believe him? I'm not sure. Why would you tell us all this? I tell you because I value my own life. When my fellow Scions come, Expect you'll all act like the savages you are, and a battle will ensue. You've all died once. I don't intend to do so again. I won't touch those controls. If you want to get us killed, do it yourselves. You fear death. There's a way to stop this ship for good, and he knows how. He just needs more pressure. What kind of pressure? We heard him. He'll talk. Trust me. That's against Starfleet protocol. You're not on a Starfleet ship. Your protocol does not apply. We take the action that will lead to our victory. Don't assume your moral code takes precedence above all others. I'm not gonna torture them. 
Not like this. But there's gotta be something we can work with here. Engine status. Right. The warp cores are still practically redlined. Going this fast, it would be too dangerous to force a warp collapse by cracking one of the propulsion coils. I could rupture the hull, end up damaging the cartabula in the process. And that risks tearing a hole in space. We can't have that. However they've supercharged the Zeldi, it still relies on existing systems. They just... Amplify the output? But the Takan have already interfaced with those systems. The controls will be no use. So we'd have to find a way to manually shut down the warp cores. Might not be a manual shutdown as much as it'll be... sabotage. No one appears to be guarding it. I think I can get us there. But once we're in, do you really think you can cripple my ship? Not something I'd normally ask. But I'm coming around to it. Well, usually I'm the guy fixing the things that go wrong on a starship. I'm sure I can figure out a way to break it. You may even find you like destroying things. This plan of yours has one problem. It strands us. Left out of the fight when there is a war going on. Our fight is here. Now. This is how we do the most good. For the Empire. For the Empire. So, Carter. You didn't beam out after all. I thought you'd escaped when we boarded. I had almost hoped you'd made it off. And Millie's there with you too, right? It's good you two are together. Sounds like you miss me. Miranda might have. She was so hopeful about you. But that's not why I called. You're not a fighter. I know it. You know it. That's why you're hiding. Somewhere on this ship. But the Takan Empire has so much to offer you. Think of all the knowledge lost for half a million years that you'd have access to. I know you want more from life. And I want to show you what you could be a part of. Not just the wonders you've already seen from us. In our time, we had the power to move stars. Carter, you have a thirst for discovery. And a part of you would remain to experience the things I can show you. But if you try to fight it... You don't know what you're doing. Miranda, we can help you, but you have to fight. Miranda is a part of us now. She's accepted that. You're lying. I have no reason to lie. Every one of us on this crusade has fought wars more brutal and consuming than you could fathom. But I want to reach a peaceful resolution to this. Carter, we have a plan for you. And for the others, too. We don't want to have to destroy you. I'll negotiate with Miranda. Our Miranda. When you release her. She's still here. In a way. We can continue this conversation in person. I'll see you on the bridge. Very soon. Her comm badges. She's tracking our location with them. If we have to use force to free our fellow Scions, there will be casualties. We can't stay here. And we need to disable the transmitters. Where'd you go? You don't want to talk to me? She's trying to keep you talking. I mean, I get it. But I'm trying to help you. Got it. Mine's done, too. Time to hit the road. You've forgotten something. They know where we're going. Set to stun. You're not going to shoot a guy who's unconscious, are you? You keep getting in my way. We've managed this far without doing it your way. We are hardly in control of this situation. And now we have loose ends. You two forget you're on the same side? Come on! Now let's move it.
Our coordinates match the exact location where Riker met Portal 63. Unlike Riker's team, we beam down without a problem. It's quiet. Portal has to know we're here. If he won't come to us, we'll go to him. Spread out. Already gave it a scan. Dead. Whole planet feels like it's been turned to stone. Doctor? Commander? Keeping an eye on those Duridium levels? Good. Last thing we need are your cells destabilizing on a hostile alien planet. Burn marks. The report mentioned phaser fire being redirected toward these strange crystals. It also mentioned Portal calling down lightning bolts. Better keep our guards up. Anything unusual, Commander? It's all unusual, to be honest. We've precious little data on this planet, so brief was Captain Riker's visit. Anything he didn't see himself is a total unknown. We deal with unknowns all the time. Part of the job. I'm accustomed to dealing with the unknown from my station on the bridge. If I recall right, Geordi LaForge transported in here, hanging upside down. I guess we're lucky we were spared the indignity. These crystals are dormant. Riker's report said they were glowing, that they served as energy collectors. It could be a good sign they're inactive. The Guardian of the Takan doesn't have his guard up. This is where Portal 6-3 projected his image. He was guarding this bridge. That has to mean something. We'll move forward when you're ready, Commander. Follow me. M's here. Is it me, or did that path just disappear? There was a path there a moment ago. There must be an explanation. Tetrametric pulses. Same energy as the other Takan technology. Most of the crystals appear dormant. What's different about this one? Readings indicate there's a cavity in the rock right behind it. We could try melting a hole through the wall with our phasers. Worth a try. Nothing. There's got to be a weakness. Somewhere it isn't totally solid. Whoa! An illusion. I'm sure that wall was as real as the rest of them. I felt it. It's almost like our holodeck technology, but far more advanced. The crystals must be absorbing the energy from our phasers. I'm picking up something. A biosignature. It's faint, but it's there. With me. Another dead end. Or another illusion. Crewman LaRue, if you would. <sighs> Duval to Resolute. Beam Crewman LaRue directly to medical.
Is he okay? Yeah. He'll live. Not all crystals work the same, it seems. Don't fire your phasers at any crystals unless we're sure they're putting out the same pulses as before. Commander, I may be able to speed up the process. I can now detect many different wavelengths of radiation simply by looking. The Takan radiation is unusual, so I can't quite clear it all up, but I was able to eliminate many of the non-tetrametric crystals. Your tricorder should warn you. That's an enormous help. Thank you, Lieutenant. It's my honor. Tetrametric. Good sign. Commander! Look at that. Trust, but verify. Indeed. We don't have any data about what's below the surface on Delphi Ardu 4. And I don't feel a particularly strong urge to find out. Then that makes two of us. Aside from the breathable atmosphere, this is a remarkably inhospitable planet. Traces indicate there was once living flora, but it's been dead so long it's practically turned to stone. From what Portal told Riker, it was an outpost to defend the far edge of the Takan Empire. Well, it's not that now. Now, it's a grave. Good. Tetrametric. Better go see what's different. Way's clear. Good work, Commander. We'll make sure it's safe.
Incredible. The plants here are actually alive. Is this the biosignature you detected, Doctor? No. Not a match. Tetrametric. Then it's creating an illusion as well. Based on the data we have so far... Only one thing left to do. Doctor, be ready to beam us out if it turns out we're wrong. Duval to Resolute. Lock transporter on away team. Nothing like this in any Federation record. The plants. Barbarians. It's him. How dare you disturb me? I'd hoped you had enough sense to leave of your own accord, but here you stand. <laughs> Fools. In another time, I would have destroyed you and your ship simply for setting foot in this place. Fortunately for you, that time has passed. Portal 6-3, Guardian of the Takan Empire. We've come a long way to meet you. Guardian. I am guardian of nothing. The Takan no longer exist. Don't care to be reminded. If this is why you've come, then you should leave. Now. I'll cut right to it. The Takan have returned. Returned? My people have come back? How can that be? I've been alone for so long. If it is true, how did they return? Taconian technology made it possible. To enable the transfer of consciousness from one being to another after physical death. We call it bioforming. A group of Taconians calling themselves Scions of the Flame used it to reawaken after hundreds of millennia. Scions of the Flame? Is something wrong? I'd hardly call them Takan. They were a radical faction with beliefs outside the mainstream. Beliefs that lesser life forms should serve as vessels to ensure Tikon immortality. You want me to help you destroy them? That's why you've come. You want to destroy these Scions. There is a war looming that could engulf the Quadrant. We want you to help us bring about peace before it gets to that point. Peace? always comes at a cost. They have an incredibly powerful energy source they call the Cartabula. These Scions have the Cartabula. And they've used it as a weapon against us. I will speak with you alone. What are you doing? Where's my team? They're safe where we left them. That the Scions have stolen the Cartabula is deeply concerning. And to be honest, I'd rather speak with you alone, John Rydeck. Your colleagues don't know what it means to be the last of one's kind. You and I are remnants of fallen civilizations. The Kobliad, the Takan. One dying, one dead. Our species could not be more different, but we both know the meaning of loss. The others wouldn't understand. It's beyond their ability to comprehend. I see you're hurting, and I understand your pain. But pain shouldn't stop us from moving forward. 
You do not understand me, nor the pain I feel for the loss of our once glorious empire. Tell me, why spend your days away from your own people when so few of them are left? Why live your life working for this federation to which the Koblia do not even belong? And submit yourself to their authority? It makes no sense. Not by my logic. The federation isn't an authority to be obeyed. At its heart, it's a set of principles meant to ensure the survival and safety of all species regardless of their origin. You told Riker you'd wait until you were needed. You're needed now. We need you. As much as it pains me to learn the Cartabula has fallen into the hands of the Scions, my services are not up for offer. To be chosen as a portal was to give one's entire self to the cause of protecting the Tacon Empire. I left behind everything I know, and now you want me to turn against my own people. Betrayal of my oath, and everything I vowed to protect. Every Tacon that comes back does so by stealing someone's body. They are killing to come back. What you call bioforming, we thought of as a marginal science. But if these reborn Decon plan to restore the Empire, is that a disaster to be avoided? Taconian technology is so advanced, it could save millions of species currently on the brink of extinction, including your own. And at the price of a small few, think of how the many could benefit. Instead, it sounds as if you are reacting out of fear before you have a full understanding of what's at stake. I don't think you've given this full consideration. You may have more to gain than to lose. The Takan Empire is gone. It had its opportunity and proved unable to survive. There must have been a reason the Takan have faded to a distant memory. It ran its course. And those of us who are here now deserve to choose our own fate. You said the Takan vanished for a reason. I cannot claim our empire was without sin. I'm curious to see these scions masquerading as true Takan. So I will go with you. And we shall find them. But when we do, I will judge them myself as a guardian of the Takan. To understand their true intentions, for better or worse. It's certainly your right to make your own decisions. I won't tell you otherwise. Very well. I'll return to that. Commander! Hold your fire. I'm all right. He's coming with us. We assumed the worst. She's perfectly fine. Now then, shall we? All right. We can beam up your... Do you have any equipment or tools? Team plus one, ready to beam up.
four warp cores. That's interesting. Redundancy. If one goes down in battle, we can still operate. Makes this more difficult, though. This ship can maintain warp with half the cores offline. We'll need to disable three of them. Where are the engine schematics? Power flow routing charts. We're soldiers, not engineers. I thought you would know what to do. We understand how to operate it under normal conditions, but not the intricacies. You're in good hands. We can do this. I trust that you can. You at least know where we should start? This way. output since we left Hotari space. No ship can run for very long like that. Not before a catastrophic failure hits. It's right on the edge. We just need to figure out a way to give it a push. Bet that console down there could tell us a few things. we do, we need to make sure the Takan can't undo it. So we need a way to permanently disable the reactors that won't destroy the ship and kill us all in the process. You thinking what I'm thinking? War core ejection. So the question is, how do we make it happen? They've locked out the controls here too. No surprise there. I can't release it. So if we want to get the core out, we'll have to force the system to do it. Or trick it. The reactor coolant system is operating at emergency containment levels. It's just barely keeping the temperature in check. Maybe we can use that. If it gets this high, their system considers a reactor breach imminent. We saw on the bridge, all four warp cores are operating at full capacity. The safety protocols don't look much different from the Resolute. Breach protection. Reduce output, command override. Cease matter, antimatter flow, command override. Emergency warp core ejection. Computer control. Even command functions can't override one of the most crucial safety measures. So the protocol's still active. That's good. Looks like... If sensors show a core is about to rupture, the computer will eject it automatically rather than risk a breach. So we need to increase the warp core's temperatures. If we destroy the coolant regulators, there won't be anything to keep these reactors from going over. And it will trigger the ejection. Let's peel these suckers open. I'll take that one. And I'll take the one next to it. The second you two start dumping cores, the Takan will know we're here. We'll be vulnerable. Stuck in one place while you work. We will have to make a stand. Start thinking about an escape plan. I have a feeling we're gonna need one. We'll barricade the door. Work quickly. We might not have our tools, but our phasers can do this in a pinch. Better get this right. If we foul it up and this whole thing goes boom, we don't know how much damage that cartabula will do if we accidentally crack it open. Listen, the best way to make sure something goes wrong is to stress. Keep your mind on the job. We'll be okay. Yeah, we will. It's not a Starfleet warp core, but the coolant regulator has to be in here somewhere.
grounds of Sorella. You too. Calm yourself, child. It will all be better soon.
rejoin the flame. To reclaim what was lost. You don't need to watch this. I do. I want to remember every moment when I make them pay. But this isn't the end. I will avenge Itasca. Swear to me, you will join me in this. How about we try to save her? That's a dream. As long as she's alive and her memories are still in there, there's still hope. Hope is what you turn to when you have nothing left you can do. And there's still something I can do for Itasca. And I shall. There's so much I want to ask you. There's so little I can tell you. I'm a portal, not a scientist, but I'll certainly do my best. I can only assume this is one of your older starships. One would think, given the importance of your mission, they might send a ship of a more recent vintage. But, uh, <clears throat> apparently not. The Resolute is primarily a research vessel, if that's what you mean. Not a warship. Although, she has been known to hold her own in a fight. Against what? Something wrong? Not at all. The galaxy has grown more diverse since the days of the Takan Empire. Because you conquered everyone who didn't look like you. To the contrary. Most lesser civilizations willingly join the Empire to enjoy the benefits of an advanced way of life. But that expansion came with its own set of problems, so... I admire your ability to diversify without creating conflict. That was always our challenge. And perhaps... ultimately our downfall. The Federation prides itself on its inclusiveness. I'd say it's one of our greatest strengths. As the Vulcans say, infinite diversity in infinite combinations. Interesting. I'd be curious to meet one of these Vulcans. If this is the best you have, then so be it. To locate this scion, Galvan, I'll need full access to your ship's systems. Full access? Huh. You must be out of your mind. No, I'm right here. Completely in my mind. Given this is merely a research ship, I won't be able to find him without it. Perhaps I should have made that clear up front. I'll need to make certain modifications. I can't promise anything, but let me see what I can do. Just know, without it I won't be able to help you. This isn't gonna fly. I'll see you on the bridge. Captain Solano, I'd like to introduce you to Portal 63, Guardian of the Takan Empire. Pleasure to meet you, Captain. Likewise. I can't say I've ever met a portal before. There is no modern equivalent. Not within the Federation, at least. We are incredibly lucky that Portal has agreed to join us. Your first officer makes a very persuasive argument. So I've noticed. You spent 600,000 years at your post. That certainly takes an uncommon level of dedication. We all have our duty. Of course. But I'm curious. You were stationed there in preparation for what exactly? Any and all threats to the Empire. An empire that no longer exists. Which suggests you weren't very successful. You said you needed my help. I didn't come here to be insulted. Perhaps that was a mistake. I'd be happy to return to Delphi Ardu at any time. Of course, the fall of the Empire had nothing to do with you. We know that. Do you? 
because it seems your captain has a different opinion. I'm merely curious where your allegiances might lie. Clearly it's with the Dukan. Yes, Captain. You have found me out and exposed my true loyalties to the Dukan, not to the Scions of the Flame, who do nothing more than tarnish us in name and reputation and don't deserve to be called Dukan. That's why I'm here. And if you'd be so kind as to give me access to your ship's systems, we can get on with it. And you can stop wasting my time. Access to our systems? That's completely out of the question. Tell me that's not what you promised. We're vulnerable enough as it is. And now we're supposed to give him access to everything? Captain, I know it's a risk. But right now it's our best shot at finding Galvin and that ship. Now I understand your reluctance. I never imagined offering to help would be met with such ignorance. Bordering on incompetence. If you're not enjoying your visit to our ship, we'd be more than happy to let you wither away back on your pathetic little rock. Captain? You clearly do not appreciate the magnitude of the threat the science pose. So myopic is your focus on your own ego. I will not be leaving until they have been found. Commander Rydeck, a word. And to think I waited 600,000 years for this. You realize this puts me in an incredibly difficult position. I was against seeking him out from the start, but now, to give him access to our systems? It's insane! And you somehow expect me to believe his allegiance is with us? You heard what he said in there. There's no way we can trust him. I might otherwise agree, but you're missing the most important point. He's a Takan, and he may be loyal to the Takan, but not to the Scions of the Flame. He's against everything they believe in. You heard what he said. There's too much at stake to be wrong on this. We sought him out for a reason to help him find our missing crew, Galvin, and those Illidian ships. This is the plan we agreed to with Ambassador Spock. Which I never liked. But here we are. You know what this mission means to us. Not just for the Federation, but for me personally. I can't afford another screw-up. Losing the shield algorithms was bad enough. This... This could be the end of my career. I'm sorry, Captain. You know I support you, but millions of lives in the future of the Federation are at stake here. Both of which are more important right now than your career. It's not just mine. It's both of ours. Then so be it. I'm going to trust your instincts on this one. I just hope you're right. For both of our sakes. Let me know if you find anything. We're good. You may begin. I will, of course, have to make a few modifications. What kind of modifications? To find Taconian technology requires Taconian technology. If this Cyan Galavan modified his ships, then I must do likewise to yours. The galaxy is nearly infinite in size and complexity. This may take a moment. How long I will found it take? something. There you are. What is it? Galvin? Someone is using Taconian technology. I can't get the precise bearings, but it's located in the Palisades cluster. I'll let the captain know. Rydic to Solano. I think Portal may have located Galvin. I'll be right there. I'm getting all kinds of interference. Almost impossible to lock on the energy signature. Where's he hiding? In the Palisades cluster. Interesting. Can you lock in on the location? Not until you get me closer. Lieutenant Handar, set a course for the Palisades cluster. Aye, Captain. Well, I suppose I owe you an apology. You were right after all. That's what I get for questioning the advice of my first officer. 
You always have my back. No apology necessary. Your concerns were valid. Nonetheless, I should learn to trust your instincts, which were absolutely right. Nice work. Let me know if you find anything more. Will do. What's wrong? I didn't want to say anything until I was certain. But the reason for the interference is simple. There's a Taconian device on this ship being used to block the signal. Whoever planted it was exceptionally clever. They knew how and where to hide it. But they have underestimated my abilities. Engineering. Take care of the Taconian device, and I can find Galvan for you. It's designed to interfere with all transmissions, or at least delay and confuse the effort to find Galvan's ship. Hold on. My understanding is that Takan technology requires a Takan to operate. Is there another Takan on this ship? The science could have someone on this ship doing everything they can to stop us from finding Galvan. Don't worry, I'll get this fixed. We're going to find that ship. Engineers would have found this device already if it wasn't well hidden. Better to rely on my tricorder. Hmm, there's a lot of noise in here. I should scan the device putting out the most radiation to filter it out. That's better. Most other radiation sources in here are well contained. There's definitely tetrametric radiation nearby. But even with the gain boosted, it's getting drowned out by other sources of radiation in here. harmless radiation leakage here, but enough to mask the tetrametric pulses. Easy enough to cancel out. There's still something drowning out the tetrametric radiation. I need to find it so I could filter it out as well. Jeffrey's tubes thump harmonics from all over the ship. I'll filter that out. There we go. I'm getting a clear tetrametric signal now. Found it. Excuse me. Do you belong here? Commander Rydek. I'm sorry. I, I didn't know it was you. Paul. Calloway, right? Yes. I... You know, it means a lot that you remembered. What, uh, are you doing back here? I, I don't mean to pry, but... First officers don't usually go digging around engineering compartments. Just a routine systems check. We've been having problems with our comms lately. Ah, oh, that's news to me. I haven't heard anything about it. Probably because the comm system isn't working. Have you seen anyone else in here recently that might seem out of the ordinary? Maybe someone who doesn't work in engineering. Not that I can think of, but I can ask around. I'm here almost all the time, but maybe someone else noticed something? That would be great. Just. Be discreet about it. I don't want anyone to be alarmed. Discretion is my specialty. Well, I'll leave you alone already. Oh, 
Come to think of it, that Hotari woman was down here earlier with Dr. Duvall finishing the last of the bioscans. Tylus? That would be out of the ordinary, right? Thank you. Maybe Tylus saw something. Tylus, can I speak to you for a moment? Of course. Is something wrong? There's something happening. I may need your help. This is important. How can I help? When you were in engineering with Dr. Duval, did you notice anything out of the ordinary? Or anyone? Not particularly. Why? I found this, hidden in a compartment down there. That's Taconian technology. Does that mean there's a Scion on board? But Dr. Duval bioscanned everyone. Every deck, every crew member, I've seen the logs. She couldn't have been more thorough. It's entirely possible it was Miranda who planted the device before we caught her. But we can't assume anything at this point. It could be anyone. That includes both of us. You want me to get scanned? Better to know for sure, right? I'll admit, I was around the Scions as much as anybody. You don't have to do that. I trust you. If it makes you feel any better, it's not me. I promise you. I know. That doesn't mean it's not you. Okay. Clear. Don't sound so surprised. You spend plenty of time with the Scions as well. You never know. Let's get to it. The search starts in engineering. Whoever planted the device most likely did it within the last few hours. So I'll start by running a scan, tracking everyone who came through engineering over the last day, in reverse order. This could take forever to sort through the number of people that were in engineering. Filtering for outliers. People who don't work in engineering. Eh, that helps. I'll filter out the duplicates. This is manageable. Cross-referencing this list with everyone who's traveled to Hotari. Let's see who's left. No. This can't be right. What? Of the people that went to Hotari and visited Engineering, it could only have been... Captain Solano. According to this, he was here while you went down to Delphi Ardu 4. Which would have been the perfect opportunity. And no one would question him. He's the captain. He fits the profile for the kind of people the Takan want to bioform. People with authority that can lead to them gaining more control. Like Galvin? The Queen? The captain of a Federation starship. What happened when Dr. Duval bioscanned Captain Solano? That's just it. She never did. How is that possible? Something more urgent would always come up. There was nothing she could do. But performing a bioscan is the only way to be absolutely sure. That's not going to be easy. First thing I need to do is get this device to Portal. Be careful. And good luck. I'll need it. I've found the device. Interference is gone. I have located Galvin's ship more precisely. He's in the Usonia system. So then it worked. This whole region was one of the most sacred for the ancient Takan. What many consider the birthplace of our civilization. See these comets and planetoids in the outer orbits? 
based on their current trajectory, that's Galvin's destination. And legend tells us it's the location of what was once our largest arsenal. Not that we needed it in the late stages of the Empire, but it was there as a precaution nonetheless. What kind of weapons are in this arsenal? Uh, it's difficult to know what would have survived from the time of the Empire, but be assured that the damage they have done so far by altering your current technology will be minuscule compared to proper Taconian firepower. If Galvin and the other science secure the arsenal, they will become extremely dangerous. My people had such power at the height of the Empire. The Takan were as gods, keeping absolute control over countless worlds. I must speak with them directly. However, the presence of this device is worrying. It's highly likely it was placed here by a scion hidden among your crew, and it is unlikely this interference device was the scion saboteur's only trap. If we reach Galvin and the saboteur cripples your ship, we will be at their mercy. Even my powers will not be able to protect us. Do you know who it is? They may well do more damage if left alone. Time is not on your side. I'm fairly convinced they bioformed Captain Solano. I knew there was a reason I didn't like him. That explains it. Bioforming was so rare in the time of the Empire that I am not able to detect if it has taken place. Proof of your claim is something you will have to produce yourself. Then, we have to bioscan him. I'll talk to Dr. Duvall. That's quite the claim. You told me you were worried about him. But I never imagined this was what was wrong. I wouldn't be asking you if there was any other possibility. That would explain why Solano has been too busy for a bioscan lately. As the ship's doctor, you have the authority to declare him unfit to serve. If you're right, this is the worst case scenario. Challenging your own captain is a tall order. Are you sure you're prepared for this? If you fail, that's it. The end of your career. Maybe your life. I don't know if I would be on my own. But with your support, I'm sure we can do it. Now that smooth talking may come in handy. I'm in. But we can't pull this off with just the two of us. I technically have the authority to make Solano undergo a scan, but in reality, he can and will refuse to do it. We need at least another member of the senior staff to support your claim. Or this could all blow up in our faces. Uh, you better think long and hard about who you can trust. Thank you.